All right, man. So it's been officially one week since update 6.1 dropped and it's finally time, boys. I've gotten a lot of messages from you guys asking when I'm going to finally unlock the big boy from this update, Gladiator, because he's some of y'all's favorite character. You've been waiting for him to come to the game. You want to see how he rocks, if he can body people in PvP, if he can crush world bosses because of the fact that he actually ended up being a combat type instead of a universal type like many of us were hoping for. We wanted all the new characters to be universal. However, unfortunately or fortunately, however you look at it, right? He ended up as a combat character. So I doubt we'll be able to get through any gameplay in this video because what I want to do is actually show you guys from start to finish, no edits in between, how much is going to cost you on average to build a character like a gladiator it's been a while since we've built one of these on the channel the last one not that the last one was actually dr doom and that was very 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 expensive so for any of you guys who are coming to the game as a new player and you think you are going to pick this guy up in a week and have him done I have a bad news for you, okay? These characters, they cost a ton of resources to build, okay? And unless you have a fat wallet, I mean, your bank account needs to be stacked, right? You're not coming in and finishing this epic quest and have materials to spare to build Gladiator how I'm going to build him right now. Not happening if you're a new player, okay? You need to be a good way into the game or you need to have a fat bank account. The fat bank account would benefit Netmarble greatly because that's all they care about. You're just a dollar sign to them, okay? That's facts. Anyways, that being said, let's get it popping. So obviously you gotta finish the epic quest first. You gotta get all the characters that you just saw to tier two and then you unlock the big dog, okay? Now, that being said, Let's pop over into my box. We got the Simp Lord, by the way. Show some love to the first video I uploaded today. This is going to be the second one. So we got the big dog. I'm not going to roll his ISO in this video because that's going to take a long ass time. That's a freaking system that I despise. All right. But what we're going to do, by the way, before I even start, all right, let me go to my inventory. By the way, this is a no flex zone. Okay. This is a no flex zone. So, I want to show you guys the materials that we're starting with. 128,000 black antimatter. And <laughs> 16,000 chaos norm stones. Okay? Plus, let me show you guys the bio count. 86,000. No flex zone, ladies and gentlemen. Just lots of grindage. And I haven't been grinding Future Fight as much lately. For the past, like, three months, I've been slowing down my grinding because I've been playing a lot of other games. KOF is one. And obviously, Grand Cross is the other. So let me go in and level this guy up. Yes, he eats bios because he's a top dog. You know what I'm saying? He eats the weak because that's what the strong does. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go down here. Don't worry about the characters who I'm going to use their bios for. It's just characters I have access for. Access, access English. Um, Magneto, probably not getting a new uniform anytime soon. Ideally, what you should do when you're building a character that consumes a lot of bios Use the characters that you can get from the, um, let's rank them up. Use the characters that you can get from the support shop because you have infinite access to them, right? So let's go material fusion. We're going to just make like 30 of them bitches. Imagine if I just hit max, man, how much would that even make? We'll go 30 there. Let's see. I don't even have enough gold to do max. <laughs> Imagine if I did max though and actually clicked it. I would try <laughs> to run out of gold. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Um, right. We gotta rank him up again. Why do they even bother putting rank up tickets here? They know they know what? I was gonna say. I was gonna say they know they never gonna let you use rank up tickets on them, but they might for money. Right? Everything has a price. It might be your soul, but everything has a price. Um, okay, so apparently 20 was not enough, right? So we gotta make even more of them. Fine, 
Okay, that's why I showed you guys how much we started with. Let's let's just make 50. If I could, I would do max, but I can't. Hopefully that's enough. Man, it's been a long ass time since we did one of these over a year. Actually, no. What am I saying? We did we did Silver Surfer, didn't we? Did I run out of materials for Silver Surfer? I can't remember if I did. Should I get rid of some of these? I don't think all my Cyclops uniforms are mythic, you know. Probably shouldn't get rid of mutant bios like that. Never get rid of mutant bios, okay? Don't do what I do. Do as I say, not as I do. Most of you guys are not in my position. If you are, then kudos to you. Do whatever the hell you want, okay? But what I just did, probably not what you should do. Okay. Material crunching. Cool, cool, cool. We got eight. We got to go back and make more. <laughs> we don't have enough boys. Okay. Cool. We got to go level up, level up. Um, Invisible Woman. Yes, yes. Yeah, she only has one uniform and that's that mythic. So even if she gets another one sometime soon, I'll probably have enough by then. Okay. Let's... Six, eh? Wow. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's hefty, boys. Like, he's super thick. Okay. Make another 30. We did 30, 30, and 50, right? Or 30, 50, and 30. Jeez. This is why I said at the start, y'all not gonna be in this position. Because we still gonna need like two six stars, I believe. I'm not even looking at the gold. I think we just blew like 40 mil. <laughs> yeah, we blew like 40 mil. Um, who's gonna dump here? I got those 900 enchantress bios sitting pretty, hoping for one day she becomes great. Make enchantress great again. <laughs> remember when she first came in? Old school players remember. She started the whole crowd control, like world boss meta. All right. And then look where she is now. Pure garbage. Sad life. Um, we'll just throw her. And we'll throw you. Remember Kate Bishop, guys? Remember her? Remember when she was actually good? Oh, it's four. Wow, right. Big boy. Hefty. Super thick. Anyways, like some of these characters in the game, man, like they fell off and they, they just never come. <laughs> they just feel like they're never coming back. Like Kate Bishop, I remember when she was good. Like I remember when Kid Kaiju was okay for a hot minute, right? Nah, it, it's sad. It's sad. Um, wow. That was only good enough to make two. <sighs> Let's make eight. Okay, we'll do ten. We're already past eight. I don't like having odd numbers. And it looks like we're gonna have to make one more. Cool. So four of this makes two of this. Okay, then one of that and then that and then yeah we're good this is the last one quick mats <laughs> wait no this is not the last one i'm an idiot oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh uh, i was just trying to balance out the one that was already there but i was actually supposed to make 16. what am i doing what am i doing <laughs> Yo. Oh man, this is what I said. We're not gonna get to no gameplay in this because I want to show you guys just how much you're in store for spending. Uh yeah. Okay, finally, we're there, boys. Six stars. We flexing. We flexing. Imagine if they just put a button right here that says pay. Wow, I didn't even remember that this was here. It's been a while. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's been that long. Imagine if they just put a button right here that says pay us $600 and you get him like maxed out immediately. You know what? Probably shouldn't have said that. These motherfuckers are actually going to do that. Anyways, stop cussing. Stop cussing. Do not let them push you to that point. Okay? Calm yourself. Okay? Come back to your senses. Just, just enjoy the game for what it is and enjoy it for where it is and... You know what I'm saying? If, if, if they kill the game, they kill the game and that's it, okay? Cool, all right, I'm back, I'm back, okay? Whew. Check the rage, check the rage, check the rage. Don't let it seep out, just, just, just be calm, 
Just be cool. You know what I'm saying? It's YouTube. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. I think that's where we want to go with. Oh, wait. We're not done. All right, bye, Craven. Bye, Elsa. Cool. So, bios are gone. Um, I'll show you guys the bio. Actually, we'll just go back and check the whole inventory con. This is good. Why didn't this allow me to do this for the rank up, too? Well, like, 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 I don't know why these guys always half-ass everything, bro. Like, why couldn't they have just allowed me to literally just get him from one star to six star in one go, just like they did for the mastery here? Like, if I have the material, just let me do it in one shot. <sighs> whatever, whatever, whatever. Future fight, bro. Future fight. Freaking future fight. <laughs> okay. Stop it. Stop it. We said we're not going to do that. Okay, we said we're not going to do that. Okay, some decent rolls to start. Nice, nice. Then we get royally screwed at the end, obviously. Equivalent exchange, ladies and gentlemen. Equivalent exchange. You gotta love it. You gotta love to see it. All right. So two, six, 12, 10, and 30. Oh, 23. The last one that always costs the most amount of materials always has to be the highest one because, you know, why the heck not? All right, let's see what this is gonna look like. That's one. That's one. That's 10. That's six. And here it comes. Rigoroni. I'm telling you, this shit is rigged. They make it so that the probability of getting a super high roll on the very last one is very high. Anyways, so cooldown is maxed on this guy. We're well over cap. Oh, the phone. Let me throw him on right there. His leadership is just an attack buff, right? 55% all attack. So it's the same as Starlord with his uniform. Crazy. Okay, so this is probably the best leadership in the game. But it's for all the allies. Hero or villains. Yeah, this is the best like leadership in the game because it affects everyone. Physical, energy, villain, hero. Yeah, neutral. Yeah, so best leadership in the game. Crazy. Okay. Um, Do we give them ignore defense? No, we don't want to give them that. I don't know what I want to give them for the fourth year though. Let me max out the skills first to get a refresher on what they are because I haven't looked at them since he came to the live server. I figured I'll just look at him when I get him. I'm only maxing out this skill just because I think it looks really cool. I'm going to max out everything anyways. All right. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, so this has the immunity. This has the accumulation based on damage dealt. And okay, let's max that. And this has nice the duration, kind of sucks though, because it's the entire duration of the skill and then it runs out. Wish it would just <clears throat> stay up the whole time, All right? Because then we'll have like an 85% attack buff, couple that with his leadership, right? That's not too much for the ask for, he's a tier two native. Look how much he costs. But again, he's free to play, kinda, if you grind it up. <laughs> so, anyways, can't make him too busted, no? Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Let's, let's not drum up any controversy. Okay, so we got the defense down. Stacks up to 60%. And what else we got on here? Invincibility, credit trade, everything for six seconds. 15 second cooldown, so that's actually pretty good. Be interesting to see how he works in PvP. And he has the healing. Same as um Wolverine. Okay. Interesting. Definitely gonna end up being way better than Wolverine though. <laughs> Even with his uniform. At least that's what I see anyways. Alright. So he gets crit. I think I'm gonna give him crit damage. I think that's what I'm gonna go for here. Yeah. You know what? Let, let me 
Mm, I want to see what he gets as the second option before I roll, but I'm just going to, I'm going to settle for crit damage. Okay, perfect. We got it. Always, always roll for whatever gear you're going to, okay, you got attack speed. Okay. Always roll for whatever like option you want on the gear before you upgrade it because the cost of re-rolling it changes the higher you get it to. So like a 20 is gonna cost way more, 22 of course, to re-roll it now. And then when you get into 25, if you decide to change again, you'll see that, see if you went up, right? So let's see. So once we give him an ISO set, that's gonna give him some ignore defense and then we can slide a couple of Urus for ignore defense and then we'll have that capped off. Why is this cooldown so high? Does he have it on multiple? Years? Oh, it's just right here, right? Hmm. Well, okay. So that's pretty much the bulk of it, boys. Um, I'm gonna roll for his um ISO set here, and wow, I just realized we dropped by like what 90 million gold, uh, give or take. I think this portion of the video I'm gonna cut out the ISO set rolling, but I do want you guys to see the cost to get the ISO, and then I'll show you guys what how much bios we spent and how many um like antimatter and stuff we spent. So give me a sec, I'll be back. Probably gonna take me 20 minutes because rolling for an ISO set in this game, a freaking joke. All right, boys. So it only took me five minutes instead of the 20 minutes or 30 minutes I thought it was gonna take me. However, we dropped down to 157 million gold. Keep in mind that that is still not the end for this man. We still need to get him up to level 70 and gear 25, which is probably gonna eat up another 40, 50, 60 million gold if I get screwed, right? So new players be where a lot of you guys are probably coming in because you see you know i'm saying the alpha right they're using him as a marketing ploy to pull you guys in be aware of what is going to be waiting for you when you start doing the epic quest it's gonna drain you for a whole lot in hopes that by the time you get to the end you have nothing left and then you have to bust out your superpower aka your visa your mastercard or just your debit card you might have to take out a second mortgage you feel me so <laughs> just be aware of what is waiting for you exercise patience and you will eventually be able to get everything in the epic quest without spending a dime do not let these guys put these roadblocks here to kind of like manipulate you into aggressively spending okay maybe if we can put the vice grip on these guys they can actually work on stuff that makes the game better instead of making them more money here's the hoping moving on ladies and gents i'll show you guys what the black anti-matter count looking like didn't take that big of a hit right we still we still way up all right, we got what, <laughs> 119 million from the uh, 128 we started with. And in terms of Chaos Stormstones, we're only down to 14,000. It really goes to show like the massive disparity when it comes to materials in this game. Like, look at, look at, look at, look at freaking this. We got over a million, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, man. And it, it doesn't stop there. Anyways, we're only down 6,000 bios. You know I'm saying so I still got a lot. But yeah, there's still ways to go with this, man. So we're going to wrap things here, ladies and gentlemen. You let me know what you think I should do with him from here. Do you guys want to see him with just a regular obelisk to see what he can do? If you're just like a free-to-play player, you got him and he literally took everything from you and you got nothing left, let me know. Or if you want to see him with energy or rage or whatever. Now, I'm going to sauce him up with some Awakened ISOs. That's for sure. We're going to go with Power Fang with Hulk because I want to ideally max out his attack speed because he's kind of slow on the wind up for, I believe it's his third skill that has the frost breath. See that wind up? Like he has, he has super armor built in and he does have immunity there, but the faster you get it off, the better, especially that hit at the end. 
like you see boom right it's kind of a wind up you can't you can't eliminate that but you can make the animation of the skill faster by giving your character as much attack speed as possible right and on his um is it his forge skill that gives him attack speed it's all speed one percent that's not gonna do jack shit and it's only lasting for five seconds so we don't even get it on the skill that we wanted for so yeah ideally i think power of Fang hulk is the best way to go for him that's gonna give him some more attack speed get him closer to 130 so yeah we're gonna wrap it up right here thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys found it informative no gameplay sorry about that but i do want to show you guys like what's in store for you and how much it's gonna cost you on average All right just saying so till next time catch you guys peace out